Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome back to my home. Day, project day two is what I'm calling this. And this is in thank you and honor of Brenda Clark. Do you remember? Oh, it's so cute. I can tell you I need to get a uh, square pot, a square die cut. Yep, I do. I don't, maybe that is the same as that. Yeah, it might be. If you don't have a square die cut, I don't have a square die cut. I have a kind of a rectangular kind of looking die cut. You can see it's got scalloped edges, which I don't care for. Um, you could use a circle, you could use a triangle, you could do whatever you wanted, but you could Trace this out and just put your scissor in the center and cut up and cut around to achieve a square. Um, I was too lazy to do that and didn't want to mess it up, so I used this die. Not my favorite. I just, I'm in love with this. It's, uh, it's really incredible how, of course, it's vintage looking and I love that. And this is just, yep, yep, yep. So thank you, thank you, Brenda. I took scraps from our Project One. And I thought, why waste them? Let's stay with the same scrap. Let's stay, let's just, let's use these up. And so what we did is I assumed that Brenda folded this. She may not have. Um, they're two different papers, so she may not have. I'm assuming that she did. But to make things simpler for me, I think this is a six inch. It is. I took a six by three and scored it down the center folded it in half, and then, um, well, before you fold it in half, you're going to cut, you're going to use whatever it is means you have to cut a frame in here. And then you're going to fold it in half. I folded it in half so that I could kind of center my die cut when I put it in the machine, and I needed to know where that fold line was. So the next thing we're going to do is to glue this down to form our pocket. So we're going to glue down one side and the bottom. I hope everybody's doing well today. AC still isn't fixed, but I'm in good spirits. My, uh, my son, our son and his family have the big C. Yep, they do, and they got it bad yesterday. He had a fever of 100, a little over 102. It broke in the afternoon, and then it came back last night, and then it broke, and it came back today. So um, his wife isn't feeling well, and, and uh, one of my granddaughters it stayed home from school because she's not doing well either. So... It's alive and well, guys. It really is. It is not gone. All right. So then we had a little strip of um, cardstock here that had some zigzag stitches through it, and it overlapped some threads here. So I took a leftover piece, and I zigzagged it. Did that just to be able to save time. And... This measures, for those of you that are just going to want to know, I did very random. This is a two by probably a quarter. Yep, a two by a quarter. Two inches by a quarter. And just in case you want to know exactly what Brenda did, hers is a two by a little over a quarter. Hers is, hers is an eighth over a quarter, so three eighths. And then for thread, what do I have here? Because I'm not going to go find thread. I have some upholstery thread. So we've got that color. Oh, I don't, well, she used two colors. So let's, 
use two colors. You don't have to. You don't have to do the thread at all. You'd use a little piece of lace. As a matter of fact, a piece of lace on this, just because of the uh, graphics, would probably be way, way cute. But I'm going to bunch this up and literally just bunch it up. I just bunch it up. And let's see if we can get this to sit right down here. Put a glob of glue. And just get that on there like that. It can be messy. It doesn't have to be. Just make it messy. And then we're going to take our, where to put it, right here. We're going to glue this down. And then she's got a little Tim Holtz moth. I think it's a moth. It could be a butterfly. Again, probably not the prettiest idea for this paper line, but let's see if I can pull some of this out. Let's just kind of get this. I want to get Fabri Tac everywhere. I have a tendency. I have a tendency, yeah, it's on my hands, and sometimes I'm fixing dinner, and I, I tell my husband, I said, you want a little bit of glue in your dinner tonight? And then see this, if that annoys you, clip it off, and then we do have a butterfly, I'm pretty sure, or a moth, like I said, I'm not sure what it is. Mine is just a little bit different. It's going to go right there. Look at that goober. Ugh. So, we're going to glue this then. And if you don't have the moth, if you have a butterfly or like a button, a button with lace would be so cute. I'm just trying to do this as close to Brenda's as I can. She has her, her, her butterfly going the other way. Isn't that funny? Okay, we're going to keep it like that. And she's got better threads than I've got, but this is okay. So if you don't have a butterfly, you could you and you don't want to do threads, pieces of lace would be so cute. A button on here would be cute. You could do a little ribbon bow. You could do a little flower. I was unpacking. Let's see if I have any that are kind of. They all have a, a hard. Well, that wouldn't work, Charlotte. That's the wrong color. That would be cute, but it's got the uh, hard plastic on the back. <coughs> and a heart, um, a die cut heart. Um, a word would be really, really cute. Words would be cute across here too. So, you know, don't be afraid to make this your own. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. So then we have inside of here, a tag, a cute, cute tag. Look at this. Just adorable. Okay, so then I have this scrap. And let me see. I thought I measured that. So this tag measures. It is three inches high. No, three and a quarter. Sorry about that. Three and a quarter high by two and a half wide. And I'm going to use Brenda's. Let's see which way do I want this. I think I'm going to have it go this way. I'm going to use Brenda's to cut my tag. Just like this. So I think I asked you, but I hope you're doing, I hope everybody's doing all right. Gigi's mom is home, Gigi's mother-in-law is home from the hospital, which is such a good thing. Sherry's brother's home from the hospital. Yeah, that's just wonderful. I heard from, 
Jane Daly. Do y'all remember Jane? Jane, um, it, I don't know, it's not Daly, it's Dilly, Dilly, D-I-L-L-E-Y. D -I, -L -L -E -Y. I heard from her, I believe yesterday, she's not been well and she's feeling better. I think she said, boy, I, I don't, I hate to uh, get it wrong. I want to say she mentioned she has been in and out of the hospital. She did not tell me what it was that was the issue. I'm just reaching for a piece of lace, guys. So, um, it was just so good to hear from her because I've thought about her off and on and wondered, you know, if she was okay. And, uh, you know, if I don't hear from you guys for a while, I, I do notice. I notice that I haven't heard. I don't want to pry. And so I try to be respectful, but um, I do notice if you're not around and I do worry, I think about you and just hope that you're okay. So Jane, prayers and love go out to you, honey. And I hope, hope, hope that whatever it is that's bothering you gets better it's been months guys since we've heard from jane months so it just felt really good to find out that she is okay all right i'm gonna staple this brenda did not brenda glued hers i'm gonna staple it just because i'm too lazy to let it sit here and wait for it to dry so, let's see, did I get this? I, I found this little piece of velvet, and I thought, I'm going to use this velvet. Now, I, I do believe that Brenda put a backing on this. This is way sti stiffer than mine, and I'm not going to put anything on the front because... This is so beautiful. I'm going to let it be. This was a plain card, and Brenda put a stamp on that. I think I'm pretty sure it's a vellum stamp. So we've got that. So if you've just got a plain piece of cardstock, it's beautiful. Just decorate it however you want. It is going to... Oh, I am going to decorate it too because I just remembered. It's... <laughs> Oh, Charlotte, it shows through the frame. Girl, what are you thinking? That's right. Okay, so let's see. I don't think this is going to be good enough. Let's put something on this. I don't want to see that. I mean, that's pretty. We could leave it. That is really, really pretty. Let me look at my stamps. And I don't believe I pulled one out because I don't, I just didn't even think about it. But let's see if I've got a stamp here. Whatever I put on there, that's probably going to show through. So let's see. I've got something that might, might be cute. Let's check this out. I don't know if I'm in frame. That won't go all the way, but you know, that might be cute. Some of these just might be too big. That's more dramatic. Hmm. see her hmm I wonder if that would work all right well we could be here all day like I have said many times before let's pick one of these and get on with the show all right so guys do we want that I really do like that I don't know why, but I do. Let 
This might be better. Okay, we're going to put this away. I think that might be, this might be better. And then let's see. You know what? I think we, we need to try to make this happen. This right here. So, I'm going to take a pen. Let me make sure where this fits. And it does. It fits right in there like that. So, I am going to see. I'm going to mark that. Okay. And we're going to put her... Okay, and then we'll have to cut the bottom off. It just is going to be what it is. So, let's get this off. They usually come apart pretty easily. I don't have too much trouble. Okay. So, we want to put the top of this. I'm thinking. I hope I'm right. She's crooked. She is crooked, and I know I can't pull her up. I will rip the paper underneath, so it is what it is. She's crooked. But maybe inside of it, she won't be crooked. Oh, my goodness, girlfriend. Okay, let's see. She isn't. Look at that. Oh, we did it. We did it right. Too. Look at that. That's so pretty. Yep, that was the right choice. Okay, then on the back of this, we put, let's see, let's do this little piece. Let's do this little piece here. This little piece measures, this is, I'm, I call this the add-on. This add-on measures two and seven eighths. Is that seven eighths? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So I think I cut mine. I think I, I just forgot the seven eighths. I did a three by two, I'm sure. No, I did a three by Okay, I did make it longer. I did a three, because this is a three. And this is one and seven eighths. That's what I did. Okay. And then the solid piece is inside. Okay, so this that's a solid piece. And then I cut that out, and then I cut this photo. This is a Tim Holtz photo, and we're going to glue that right on there like that. Okay. So I think, let's put the glue. Let's get the glue on here like this. That's much easier for me. And then we'll put this where it does her justice. Just like that. Glue that down. She's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Then we're going to glue this to this. So. get glue all over the back of this just like that this is just such a cute cute project cute by itself as happy mail cute tucked into a journal really cute Okay, so we've got this piece, and then she has decorated. We'll do that after we get.
get this in. This side has, this is a, um, I thought maybe it might be a stamp that she used as a pocket, that Brenda used as a pocket, but it isn't. It's a piece of cardstock. So I cut, I had this that I thought would be cute. The width is correct. The width on this is, I've got the nastiest ruler. Okay, one and it's an eighth over a half. So, no it isn't either, Charlotte. Look at your ruler. It's an inch and an eighth. That's what it is. Jeez, an inch and an eighth. And then the length that she has is an inch and a half. So, if we wanted to do, I want to keep the top or keep the bottom. Let me see. I think I'll cut. Oh, I'm going to cut that butterfly right off then. All right, let me cut up to butterfly inch and a half puts us at about go this way because I'm cutting the top so an inch and a half is where's a freaking inch and a half right here okay come on Charlotte that cuts the dress form off, and I don't want to cut off the dress form. So I'm going to cut this right there. I'm going to course it and cut it straight. Still not straight. Okay. Mine is going to be just a little bit. No, let's just cut the butterfly off. It's just going to be... You know, there's a reason people do what they do. Okay, and then if you'll notice, Brenda cut a little V right there, I think, to let you know that it's a pocket. So let's cut out a little V. All these little things, they matter. Okay. Now we're going to put this on. Trying to stay as close to the edge as I can. Right there. And then inside of Brenda's. Inside of Brenda's, she has a little... Um, acetate flower that is so cute and a little tab a little just a little tag so I had cut out I had this and I just thought that was cute and it should fit in here with no problem just like that oh, it's just so cute okay so Okay, then we need this here, and that I did not cut. We need that corner piece here, so scraps. Ooh, I hope I have, I may not. I might be able to do it with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I don't really, I'm not sure how to measure this. I'm gonna grab my pen. And I'm going to put it over Brenda's like that. Okay, and I'm going to make a mark right here. And then I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Right here. So now I'm going to take this to my cutter and I'm going to cut from there to there, okay? So, I know if I put it on the table, I won't be able to see it. This is just gonna be easier for me, so I'm just lining those two marks up and cutting 
And this is what I got. So this we're going to glue like that. Yeah, look at that, guys. This looks like it needs just a tiny little trim. So yeah, my family's sick. My husband was with our son and his family on Sunday. And you know what? This is upside down. <laughs> it is. Look at that. You probably noticed it. You've probably been screaming to me, Charlotte, it's upside down. You know what? It's okay. It won't matter. It's okay. So now we're going to put glue here on this inside and on the bottom like that and we're going to glue this down and then we can put our pieces together now Brenda if you look Brenda put two stamps and the two stamps really don't have any, the color doesn't really have anything to do with anything. There's a little bit of pink there, and that's upside down. So, hey, look at that. I think that, I do believe that is upside down. So we did it just like we were supposed to. So I have a five cent stamp here. Eleanor rose it out, I think. Yep. And we're going to put that there. So I'm going to cut this out. Cut the excess envelope out. I've not packed up any winnings yet, guys. Hopefully tomorrow. And we are going to, do I want all that white? No. And if I have all this, it won't fit. So let's see, do we fit? We fit, look at that. We're gonna put her there. Just cute and fun and easy. So put that down there like that. Once again, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, thank you. Now what we need to do is attach them. So, I'm, I'm going to use the pink velvet. So, I'm going to line them up with maybe just a little, like an eighth of an inch between. Maybe not quite an eighth of an inch. And because I've got the velvet and it's pink, I just thought it would be cute. So, I'm going to cut a strip. Okay, Brenda didn't care, you know, that what, I don't, doesn't matter, they don't have to be even. I think I'm going to try to make them even, doesn't mean I'll succeed, but then I'm going to use my, once you get the first one down, the rest should come fairly easy when it comes to having this sit the way it needs to sit so that you can get it where you want it. I wouldn't go more than an eighth of an inch. You may not even have to do the eighth. But just line it up. center in first. Does that look like the center? I think so. Might be a little bit high. Like that. You could use washi tape on this. You don't have to use ribbon. You don't have to use lace. You could use paper. But paper over time as you open and close it is probably going to um, tear. So washi tape would be better. Alright, let's do that. 
do the top piece. Dana is going, my friend Dana is going to start up teaching classes again. And her first class is going to be a cookbook. So I definitely will be taking that class. Okay, now the last piece. I'll try to work on comments when I'm done here. Sorry, Eleanor. Thought I'm going to cover your face. Did she cover faces? Yes, she did. That's just how it is. So before I crease this, I want to give it just a few minutes to dry. And then we need to put stuff in there. I don't know what yet. I'll just do that off camera. I mean, we're just putting stuff in there. Any cute little things that you might have? Any little treasures that you just want to pop in here? I have this tag sitting here. You know, it would work, but I don't like that string. But any, just, we'll fill it up. Let's see, maybe we can put one of these stamps in here. Look at how cute that is. Or do we like this one? For some reason, I just like that. Let me see what else we can pull out and put in there. What do we have? How about one of these numbers? This price tag, $3.99. That's kind of cool. Maybe that should go there. Put that there. Put that there. Got something. So that's got something in it. And hey Maggie. Hey girl. She's probably she is hot in here. Okay, so I think we're safe to close this. I wonder, let's see. Yep, that's about, that looks right. It needs to dry, I can still see where that's wet. So I'm gonna flip it like this. Okay, and then on the bottom of this, she's got, Brenda's got just a really cute little heart. So I found these wood embellishments and was thinking, this is Prima. How cute is this little postcard? Look at that. Would that work? It's cute. Poor. That's a coffee cup. Don't like that. I think the butterfly is going to be way too big. Let's see. It's big. I don't like it. I, I was sold on this from the beginning, so my mind was kind of made up. Isn't that cute? Now... Brenda's got hers kind of going off like that. Do I want it straight? I think I want it straight. I don't know. Maybe we should, you know, there's more interest with, with it like that, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. And I think I'm going to put it on with Fabri Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac. Might hold it better. If I had my glue gun plugged in, I would definitely use my glue gun. So let's 
let's see. We don't want it upside down. And this too, you could put a tiny little piece of lace under this if you wanted to. Easy. What do you guys think? I'm amazed at just how different they are. I mean, when you look at that, look at that. Really, really different. Now, did I leave anything off or are we good? I think we're good. All right, so here is Miss Brenda's, is look, just looking as cute as can be. Look at that. It's just adorable. I mean, it really is something so like scrappy and cool looking. And what she have in hers? I never did look. Let's see. Okay, there's some mushrooms, a couple tickets. Is there a couple tickets? There's a ticket, mushrooms, and that's so cute. I'm in love. Just cute, cute. Yep, love, love this project. Guys, go make one of these. Really, go make one of these because you're going to love it. You really, really are going to love it. And depending upon the papers you use, look at how different they are. If you saw this, you would never know. I think, I mean, for me, this cut out because of what I used was perfect. But um, I need to get a square. I'm going to go find one. When I'm down on the computer, if I don't forget, I'm going to go looking for one. This would be really, really cute with lace and a button just because of what the uh, paper is. And then, yeah, you pull that out. It's a little wonky, but you know what? That's okay. You know, if I got sent that and it was a little wonky, I would love it even more. Why wouldn't you? And then here is, we open it up. Look at that, guys. It's just cute. So Brenda, I hope you're happy with what I created um, using your pattern. Absolutely adore that. And uh, I have no idea what we're gonna do for tomorrow, guys, but I hope you had fun with this today. And uh, please give me a thumbs up, it's pretty important. And uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. And go make one of these. It's fun. And if you didn't catch Beverly's yesterday, that was a tag book. That was project one. So be sure to go check out and see what Beverly did. Hugs to everyone. Take care and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye guys.